One of my favorite homemade Italian dishes is baked spaghetti. So today we're gonna to show you how you make my version. What I've started off here is I've put water, I filled about a half full of water and I put about a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna take about a third of a box of our spaghetti. We're gonna break that in half and stick that in there to get that started. I'm gonna break it in half. It's just a little bit easier to, and it'll fit in the pot a little bit better. Now in our pan up here up front, what we've done is we have, uh, have our skillet, we've got it on medium heat. And we're gonna place a pound of hamburger, which is 80-20. And we're also gonna place about a half a cup of diced onions in there. And we're gonna get that started to cook. And we're gonna brown that. We're gonna cook our pasta to be al dente. So it's gonna take about 10 minutes. Should be about the same. For me. Ten minutes, and what we've done, we're going to turn the heat off to our uh, pasta. We've drained the fat all out of our onion and hamburger mixture, and now we're going to add our one of our favorite uh, sauces. It's going to be our Prego Garden Chunky Combo. I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to mix it all together and let that heat for just for a few moments. We're going to take our pasta and we're going to drain the water. Once we've finished draining the water, we're going to take our pasta and we're just going to put it right into our hamburger mixture. Sit that to the side. We're going to mix that up really well. I like a lot of sauce with my pasta. I know some people like it a little on the drier side. I don't. I just really like a lot of flavor. I'm going to mix that up real well. and saucy. We're now going to take our pan over here and we're going to spray it with a non-stick cooking spray. And then pour that pasta mixture right into the bottom of that pan. Spread that out. All right, now here's where things get a little bit different. I'm gonna put some fresh chopped mushrooms on top. And you can dice these a little smaller if you want, or, a little, or have them a little larger. Dice those on top. And we're also gonna put some fresh is it, onions on top. We're gonna put another half a cup of onions, diced. And we're gonna put half a cup of green peppers. Now I like the different combination of, ta of uh, taste here. Some people, if you don't like it fresh, you can always saute it. I like the crunch because it gives you a little bit of different texture. And we're gonna take it on top, we're gonna put about a teaspoon of garlic salt. Just gonna kind of sprinkle that across the top. And then we're gonna add two cups 
of mozzarella cheese. All right, we've got our cheese on there. We preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna actually wrap that with uh, aluminum foil. We're gonna find the oven and we're gonna start, we're gonna find the oven for roughly 30 to 35 minutes. All right, it's been about 35 minutes. We're gonna take our uh, pasta out of the oven. Take the aluminum foil off. And we're gonna stick it back in for another 10 minutes. It looks really yummy. All right, those extra 10 minutes have passed. We're gonna pull it out of the oven. And then we're gonna sit it out and let it rest. We're gonna sit down and go ahead and let it rest probably for another 10 to 15 minutes just so it can stop bubbling. It's been about 15 minutes and all the liquids have soaked back up into the uh, pasta. It looks absolutely yummy. I'm really excited to have dinner this evening. Um, if you um, like this video, please take a moment and subscribe to our uh, YouTube account. Please like and share and we'll see you next time.